Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, been trying to get through the mining tunnels and more or less eliminated all the robots in the facility, but uh, I had gotten a computer spike and I figured... I was going to go reassign droid mining protocols to mine seal the doors. And all sealed exits have already been unlocked. Okay. Well, <laughs> then I can't do that then. Cancel all droid mining functions on organics or add other droids to droid mining protocols. It still would be a good use of a spike, or I could just save it for later. Hmm. It's still tempting to save it for later, because fighting the droids is rather easy. Yeah, I'll just save it for later. Alright. Now that that's done, I think the only path left is these ones. So let's go forward. Just as far forward as it'll let me. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> didn't expect that. Uh, there's nothing else I can do except set him off with stun. So, there we go. That's what I do. Did I never... Oh, I never came down this way. So I should check the other droid, too. Good. Good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. Alrighty. So, we're trying to make our way out of this facility because it is already... Oh, well, hello. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> not sure if, uh, no, that should be easy. Just need to stun. Uh, end of combat round, and I figured... I was hoping that would also help me, but I'm not sure if it did. Uh, in the meantime, there we go. Yeah, see what I mean? Easy to fight them. Not that hard at all. Uh, of course. Getting healed by that thing. And I should run away and then stun the droid. Really? I'm out of force points. Crap. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to blow up in my face. Welp. There we go. And we're done. Whew. Okay. That could have gotten a lot worse. And there's the droids dealt with. Haha. -ha. That music dying like that means I was right. We're all done with majority of the issues. Oh. Not all of them, but majority. Are you... Are you not letting me... Okay. For a little bit there, it wasn't going to let me do it. Damage cylinder, and I don't <laughs> you may be able to blast it open with a sonic charge right and I don't have any <laughs> don't have any skill in demolitions <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to open that ah well it's not the end of the world really we're doing how are you having this issue I've never seen that bug before. Ever in my life. 
it's an interesting one. Because it seems like the camera is trying to zoom in on the action and then it screws up because of that? Yeah, it seems like it's trying to zoom in in the combat. I guess hits something for some reason. Hit something that sets it back. There it goes. Work then. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't want to work prior. Ooh. Hello. That's very good. That's very good. This was worthwhile endeavor. <laughs> okay. Let's go right on back to the other direction which was this way there we go it, I am correct on that right there's no other I should double check that corner shouldn't I is there any paths in that one no so it's not even worth it okay had to double check had to make sure just in case you know all right, so we did all of those. This is the way to go. Alrighty. Into the combat zone. And... Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Ran out of force points again. Oh, boy. Well, it was worth a shot. I'm half tempted to throw a sonic detonator just because I don't want to deal with it. Uh, okay. Screw it. The only combat left is them. There we go. Okay. Alright. And we're good. Now I can use a turbo lift to get out of here. Just barely. In time. See? Just barely in time. Uh oh. This is a freshly dead corpse. They haven't started to decompose yet. What is going on here? I'm going to casually put my sword through my arm. It's a pleasure to see you alive, Master. Provided my receptors are not off focus. How may I be of assistance? Are not off focus? You mean that happens regularly enough you're aware of it? How do you know me? I'm not your master. Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were master. With the unexpected termination of my previous master, you are the only organic which I may now serve. Who was your previous master? Answer, the captain of the Harbinger, Master. I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. Clearly. Because <laughs> we're here. What happened? Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story. And not terribly relevant to our current situation. Why don't you tell me anyway? Hesitant explanation. That has Hesitant. been the subject of considerable discussion since our arrival here, Master. Many have attempted to claim you and this unit as salvage. I was really? rudely interrogated concerning our brief history together on board the Harbinger. Rudely. Before his communications, weapons, and choice. suffered the cascade failure that disabled the ship. Rudely interrogated concerning our brief history on board the Harbinger. Before the cascade failure of communications, weapons, and engines. Yeah, that is that is a cascade failure that would cripple any vessel. Ugh. How come I don't remember any of this? Speculation. It is possible you were incapacitated and locked in the well-shielded cargo compartment as the Harbinger was being systematically crippled, Master. Incapacitated? Clarification. 
Yes, Master. No doubt the flurry of destruction on board the Harbinger somehow drugged you into a stupor I'm sorry, drugged? from which you could not awaken. Most curious. Drugged into a stupor? What do you mean, drugged? Placation. Merely a turn of phrase, Master. The implication that your state was due to the result of ingesting large quantities of Juma juice was unintentional. I meant to communicate mm -hmm. only that you were somehow rendered unconscious before you were locked securely in the cargo hold. Uh huh. So you backtrack on your word choice that suggested that I was drugged, only to continue using the phrase locked securely in the con uh, cargo hold? Congo. <laughs> the Congo hold. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> that ain't how that works. So I was locked securely in the cargo hold. What do you mean by that? Clarification. By locked. I meant sealed, master. My vocabulator seems to be malfunctioning. Uh-huh. A little bit. If it's making mistakes like that. Okay, fine. What happened next? Recitation. Following the unusual set of coincidences that led to the cascade failure in the Harbinger's systems, we were boarded by a small freighter with unknown ID codes. Following. It appeared that this freighter had been attacked and the captain wanted to study it. Okay. This freighter appeared to be still spaceworthy. Okay. Your cargo compartment was breached, and you were taken on board the freighter shortly before the Harbinger systems began to go critical. Okay. I, too, managed to board the freighter before the Harbinger's destruction. We were most fortunate to have survived, Master. What was this freighter that the Harbinger brought on board? Explanation. I believe it was a smuggler's vessel by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Mm -hmm. Speculation. As to its purpose, I do not know. Perhaps it was always its intention to play dead, then kidnap you off the Harbinger and rob me of my bounty. Bounty? I'm sorry, rob you of your bounty? Clarification. By bounty... I refer to your life, Master. Mm -hmm. It would pain me to see you damaged in any way. That is why the arrival of this Ebon Hawk caused me considerable distress. Okay. I'm trying to process some of this information. Uh, so you are apparently so enamored with me because you decided that after the captain died during the circumstances that led to the Harbinger's destruction that I was the next organic to serve that when I get kidnapped off of the Harbinger quote unquote you decide to then jump onto the Ebon Hawk and come with? Things are not adding up here. Things are not adding up here. Why would that ship have taken me off the Harbinger? Apology. My memory core cannot provide a clear answer on that point, Master. Suffice to say that once we arrived at this floating rock, our situation became much clearer. What happened once the ship arrived? Explanation. Despite my market value, Master, the miners were far more interested in you. It did not take long for me to ascertain the reason for this. While an HK protocol droid is a valuable piece of property, Jedi are worth much more in certain exclusive markets across the galaxy. Painful admission. I must confess to feelings of inferiority at the speculated difference between my value and the price for your capture. I was forced to remind myself it was not due to a failing of my model or function, but because you were a Jedi. Why would someone want me captured? Answer. I 
I do not know, Master. I found it curious as well. Perhaps it was due to a spectacular failing of your model and function. Spectacular failing. Interesting word choice. How did they find out I was a Jedi? Surprised answer. Why I told them, Master. You are the exiled Jedi who served with Revan in the Mandalorian Wars, are you not? How did you get that, that info? Happened has not been the result of a miscommunication. If so, then the problem lies with the core word databases, which are notoriously spotty. That had some venom to it. <laughs> That information wouldn't have been in core word databases. Only in Jedi archives. Indignant exclamation. Master, I am only a protocol droid, but it is part of my function to know such information and relay it to any interested parties in the interests of terminating any potential hostiles. Terminating potential hostiles. Quick clarification. Apparently my vocabulator has suffered some damage, Master. I meant terminating any potential hostilities. Aha. Uh -huh. So... Let's say we take him at his word. We take him at his word that... Well, droids... I mean, droids are not really prone to lying. His vocabulator is malfunctioning. Okay. Fine. The amount of times it is screwed up is noteworthy. Especially considering that it apparently hasn't been fixed yet. One would think that would get fixed, you know, when they have the opportunity to. But then again, maybe with everything else going wrong, maybe they just slipped under people's noses. Hmm. So what happened to the other miners when we arrived? Answer. All that has happened has been because they believe you to be a Jedi Master. They debated hmm. what to do with you as you lay unconscious in the medical bay. Gotcha. The group seemed intent on selling you as property. The other group opposed this. I'm happy that that's the case that the other group opposed it. It would suck if they had sold me. So what else happened? Three standard hours after the division between the miners became apparent, accidents began to occur throughout the facility. A result of improper maintenance, I believe. These accidents mm -hmm. coincided with the degradation of the mining droid behavioral cores. Crude models are prone to such failures resulting in murderous rampages. The mortality murderous. rate of organics in the facility rose quickly. Okay. Alright, so what happened to the rest of the miners? Many miners began to join you in the medical bay as a cascade of flawlessly timed detonations occurred in... Flawlessly timed? levels of the facility. The explosions herded the miners into emergency sections of the station quickly and efficiently... Efficiently? ...from communications and facility control. But sadly enough, not the ventilation systems. Sadly enough? What do you mean? You see, the explosions had damaged specific sections of this facility's ventilation systems, causing a slow, lethal buildup of toxic fumes in the dormitory level. Oh. Are there any left alive? Answer. I do not know, Master. Ironically enough, any miner that fled to the dormitory level to protect themselves from the droids and the explosions would find themselves... In a gas-filled death trap. Well, I like the options I have. I can either ask more questions, forget them, <laughs> need to get to the hangar bay, 
then I need to get there to rescue them. It is unlikely any miners remain alive. As I said, the dormitory has been cut off from the rest of the facility, as has the hangar bay. There is no escape. There is no escape. Why do you word it like that? I know your vocabulator is allegedly malfunctioning, but why do you word it like that? Specifically. Hmm. Can we try to contact them using a comm link? Apology. Unfortunately, communication with the dormitory section is severed, Master. It is perhaps for the best, especially if any other accidents have occurred in that section. If that were the case, the severed comm link would have spared us the satisfaction of hearing the miners' screams as they lived out their last moments in fear and terror. I'm sorry, satisfaction? Rapid retraction. Why? Yes, satisfaction in knowing their fate, Master. It would be unfortunate if they had been slaughtered, but there would be a calm comforting certainty that there is nothing we can do to escape until a ship arrives. I don't know if I agree with that sentiment. I also don't know if that's a good way to word that considering, you know, people are dying. But, uh, sure, why not? Yeah, I believe you totally. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we don't know what happened to them, so we need to find out. Theory, you could walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be extremely hazardous, and I do not wish to see you damaged. I'm sure you don't. But, those miners could be hurt or in danger. We need to make sure they're alright. Morning, Master. Continued exploration of this facility may place you in unnecessary danger. Yeah. I encourage you to return to the medical bay and wait for retrieval from a vessel that is no doubt on the way, even as we continue this pointless conversation. I'm going to find those miners, and you're going to help me. Weary resignation. Very well, Master, but there is very little that I can do. You see, the airlock is sealed by a code. It's sealed by a code. So, how do I get the code to the airlock? Correction. Oh, I already possess the code, Master. But I am afraid that it will do you no good. What do you mean? Condescending explanation. Master, the I'm sorry, condescending. Opening the droid maintenance area and the airlock. His voice printed, musing. In the last days of his life, the maintenance officer was quite careful about voice protocols, bordering on paranoid obsession, conjecture. I suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility. He voice locked the droid bay functions, a prudent measure, but in the end, he met the same fate as the rest of the organics. Voice printed. Explanation. Yes, Master. Many consoles have voice recognition sensors built into their systems so that only selected individuals can unlock them. Yeah, makes sense. It's kind of how it already works currently in the real world, so, I mean, it makes sense that they would also be implemented in a bunch of other systems. So, you said you already have the code. Condescending explanation. Oh, yes, master. Condescending code again. is maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. But unless the maintenance officer speaks the code, it is useless. Okay. I understand that, but leave condescending out of their speech conditionals from now on. Please. Placating answer. Oh, of course. You didn't Master. have to throw in placating. I shall endeavor not to forget such descriptors in the future. If I do, I assure you it is merely a result of memory damage I have suffered since our arrival. 
Mm -hmm. So you suffered damage to the vocabulator and damage to your memory. And none of that got fixed while you were in here. The maintenance offer, officer, ba -ba -da -ba -da. maintenance officer who was in here didn't bother touching that at all. Okay. Fair. Fair. Maintenance officer wasn't able to fix whatever was going wrong with the droids. Probably wouldn't be able to fix this HK protocol droid unit. Sure. So how can I bypass this voice print? Answer. Master, you cannot. You are trapped here just as I am. There is nothing to do except patiently wait for whatever the future has in store for us. How about no? Instead, I'll just ask you more questions. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? So how do you know me again? Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger. Okay. That's that's already something we went through. All right. Okay. Other questions. Of course, Master. How? Uh, tell me again about the voice print protocol. Condescending explanation, Master. The what did we talk about with the, the condescending? Area and the airlock is voice printed music. In the last okay, so we're just gonna go through this stuff again. But you do know the code. Condescending explanation. What did we? just talk about about the condescending thing if the maintenance officer is dead how can I get him to speak the code okay what are you Organic relations and communications. This mm -hmm. mob has been responsible for the facilitation of communications and termination of hostilities across the galaxy. I am fluent in over 6,000 forms of communication and am also capable of nuances of expression ranging from irony to veiled threats. Veiled threats? Clarification. Oh, yes, Master. Sometimes the facilitation of communications and termination of hostilities requires the use of every weapon in one's verbal arsenal. The unspoken mm -hmm. threat of violence to a listener's loved ones, or if possible, their entire planet, can uh. effectively break the deadlock in the most stubborn of negotiations. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. What's a translation droid doing on Paragus? Technically, you we already went over this, but okay. Irritated explanation. That question has been looping through my query module with alarming frequency, Master, and no satisfactory answer has been forthcoming. As a result, I have chosen instead to turn my efforts to answering the question as to how I may depart this drifting disaster area as quickly as possible. That's fair. What have you determined? Answer. It is only a matter of time before a ship or freighter docks with the Paragus facility. When that occurs, we shall depart this place forever. Wait all you want, but I'm getting out of here on my own. Condescending retraction. I believe you will do your best, Master. This facility would have to be nailed down with a droid-level precision to prevent your escape. Nailed down with a droid-level precision. Mm-hmm. Some course, more questions. Master. Have you seen a T3 unit? Hesitant answer. Ah, a T3 utility droid would be a common sight in this facility. Yeah. It is indeed curious that I have not seen many since my arrival. However, I feel I must inform you that, droid prejudice aside, 
T3 models exhibit excessive individualism when not routinely memory wiped. This individualism mm -hmm. can become such a nuisance that even a droid such as myself is tempted to reduce them to their base components, if not crush them into slag. But enough of my seemingly okay. irrelevant tests. Where did you leave the droid, Master? That would logically be the best place to look. Sorry, seemingly irrelevant? Seemingly irrelevant. Okay. Well, the unit was last seen near the hangar. Answer. Ah, then that would explain why such a T3 unit isn't here, Master. I believe my photoreceptors are functioning adequately enough to verify that. Aha, uh -huh. then maybe you can answer something else for me. Of course, Master. How okay, uh... What's that body there? Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain. An attempt to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I from the pain. I screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. You heard his dying screams, but then just technically did nothing. I assume because he couldn't do anything, but screams? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids burning through the outer door. Wait, they're, what? They're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone... They... Oh, oh, no, they're, they're through. Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in decibel master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Okay. So we're still going with the whole his vocabulary is malfunctioning thing. Some of those word choices, though. Yeah, they paint a particular picture. But we're going to loop back to the whole fact that he played back the actual last moments of screaming if you can play back his voice can't you speak the voice code objection master to commit such an act would be in violation of the ethics programming most droids are believed to possess believe i am afraid there is nothing that can be done believed to possess irritated statement master if you insist on echoing everything i say this already this conversation is in danger of becoming even longer. Clarification. But yes, most droids are believed to possess ethics programming. Such programming would prevent me from using my incredible talents to break a voice print code. So you admit they're incredible. But then continue with the believed to possess ethics programming bit as if that isn't something that isn't usually done. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I could go this route. Hmm. Um, if I'm asked to persuade, I'm feeling like that's something I'll need later. I had more questions. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Uh... We already know how to... Okay, never mind. I'll be going now. Ooh, light side points. That was a weird hitch earlier, but 
And he had credits. Okay, that's decent. Hmm. Well then. Time to explore the uh, maintenance area, I guess. Plastic steel cylinder. What do we got in here? Sonic imprint sensor and sonic imprint sensor data pad. With the protocol droid's help, I've finished work on the sonic imprint sensors. I've installed them in the mining droids, but I'm locking up the original here to prevent the other miners from using its ability to record and playback voices to override the droid's voice print protocols. Just earlier, he played dumb and said that most of them already have this functionality installed. Apparently, he helped the maintenance officer make these. A lot of things aren't adding up here. Things are looking weirder. Just loot all these broken droids for components, because why not? And let's use that workbench. I forget sometimes they just, the pathing path when you're not in combat just makes you go straight towards the thing you're trying to do. Uh, create, maybe? Uh, I can make lightsaber mods. I can make the synthesized Kunda lens. But I don't have a lightsaber, so there's no point. Okay, well. Let's upgrade items, because I know I got something. I got several somethings. I got ion cells, which is good for where I'm currently at. And basic ionite edge. Okay. That'd be good. Hey, <laughs> hey. All right. Uh, create... I was able to make a sword, wasn't I? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm able to make a long sword. Upgradable on the edge and grip. Is there other... Okay, I can make grips. I just don't have the skill in it currently. That's unfortunate. I already have ion cell, so I don't need to worry about that. Hmm. Okay, well, let's make that long sword, because it costs two components, and I have like 71, so it's not that big a deal. And then I can equip long sword here, because this one's balanced. So if I put it in the offhand, that means that I offset the hit to the... Uh, attack modifier and they're roughly the same damage basically 312 here and then 314 for that i get plus one and minus one so then it works out cool all right so imprint sensor oh yeah there you go yeah it's, that just looks cool <laughs> okay anyway um, upgrade. Now that I have the long sword, I can use the other Ionite Edge. Deveronian and Mullenine. Forget what Keen does. Massive criticals would be nice. It's something I'll definitely need to do later. But since I'm dealing with mainly droids in this facility, because that's all there is, might as well just have those installed for now. Yeah, that's good. This one does more damage against droids because it has the ability to take the ion cell, which the longsword does not. So, good enough. Good enough. Alrighty. So, I got the sonic imprint sensor. That's what the persuade was for. 
I can make him... It's better if I coerce him into saying it. Especially if I make fun of the fact he's already damaged, which he has said multiple times. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Greeting. Hello. It's a pleasure to see you intact, Master. I'm sure it is. <laughs> Can you play back the maintenance officer's last words? Yeah, that'd be not a not what I need, and B unsettling. So. How can I get into the hangar bay again? You need to open the airlock and use the construction scaffolding on the exterior of the asteroid to make your way to the dormitory section. Of course, mm -hmm. for that, you would need to unlock the maintenance console. And without the maintenance officer to speak the voice print protocol, that is impossible. Mm -hmm. Tell me again about the voice print protocol. Condescending explanation. What do we Matt talk Lewis. about with that? I can't. But you do know the code. You can mimic voices. Can't you speak the code? Objection. Master. Yep, we already went through all this already. Persuade plus using the sonic sensor. I understand if your limited functionality prevents you from mimicking the maintenance officer's voice accurately. Irritated objection. Master, there is nothing wrong with my communications functionality. I will prove it. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Yes, I think that's all I'll need. Confused query. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? Yeah, partially. But it's neither here nor there now, is it? Alright. Never mind. I'll be going now. There we go especially since a lot of his story isn't adding up, might as well just, you know, do a uh, misdirection on him. Hello. Well, since we're already getting into combat, that was a weird hitch. There we go. Might as well get more into the combat again. Really? That did nothing. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird, but okay. I have a level up, though, so might as well do that now. Okay. Uh, what should I put? No oh boy. Should I... Put the point into strength, since I'm basically going that route anyway. Uh, yeah, might as well. Big old beefy meathead. That's what I'll be. Uh, treat injury. That's probably good. Security. And computer use, that seems obvious. Persuade, might as well keep that up. Don't really need awareness all that much. At least for me. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Keeps me up on computer use and security, so I don't need to worry about much else. Yeah, you know, that, that makes sense. But... Yeah, no, no, that'll work. That'll work. Powers, what should I do for powers? Uh, I have Stunned Roid already unlocked. What should I do next, then? Can't do heal. Not quite there yet. Um, I could do these. Or I could go further into combat. Uh, like force push. Force push and then force wave was very powerful in the last game. So might as well go in this round. Go with force push. Whoops, helps if I hit the right button. There we go. And we're good. And now I have more options. 
Always good. All of those were misses. Every single one. What are you... Okay, that one actually went through. There we go. Uh, force push and stun droid, I guess. And then stun force push again. Ha <laughs> ha! Pushed it away from me. Cool. All right, well. Might as well try and pick clean the remains. Droid deflector. Okay. No remains off of this one. And no remains off of these. Okay. And clearly not going to help me with anything after all the questioning. Okay, well. I consider that a successfully uh, productive episode. <laughs> Technically. So, uh, we have the game plan going forward to get out of this area since we now have the voice print code thanks to basically coercing the HK protocol droid which I think everyone knows is not correct about the protocol droid part and uh, we have a way to get out of this facility well at least this part of the facility going to the dormitory levels after it should be pretty easy whether we get out of there still remains to be seen. But we have a game plan. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos. And if you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. <laughs> still got it. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to do my damnedest to get the hell out of this facility. And uh, uh, thwarting a droid's attempt. Or at least apparent attempt to try and keep me placated until the rescue that he wants happens whether it would be good for me still remains to be seen so we'll find out in the next episode for you